Hey what's up you guys, it's Connor and today I'm going to be doing a book review for The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funke. If you guys don't know, The Thief Lord follows a group of street urchins that are living in Venice. Particularly it follows two brothers, Prosper and Bo. Their mother has recently passed away and the aunt, the mother's sister, only wants to really adopt the younger brother, Bo. And she wants to send off Prosper to a boarding school. But the boys really want to stay together and so they decide to run away and they flee to Venice because it was a city that their mother had told them a lot Lot about and they wanted to feel closer to her by going to the city that they knew that she loved. It's a low fantasy children's middle grade book and I actually never read this as a child but I watched the movie a lot so I already kind of knew what the story was going to entail but I still ended up enjoying it anyway. Quick fact, the main character that played Prosper ended up being Quicksilver in the Avengers Age of Ultron movie and that is just really funny to me because to see how bad <laughs> the Thief Lord movie is, like the acting in it, to him being in another movie was pretty funny. <laughs> as usual with my book reviews, I'm going to go through my pros, go through my cons, give you my rating and be done. My first pro for this book was that it just had so much nostalgia for me. Again, I didn't read this book as a child, but I did watch the movie a lot, so I was very familiar with the story before going in. This book gave me the exact same whimsical, almost good-hearted feeling that the movie did when I was a child, and so I just really loved experiencing this story in a different way now that I'm an adult. I really enjoyed the characters in this story, especially Prosper and his love for his little brother Bo. When I was younger and experiencing the story for the first time, my brother and I are quite a bit different in age. The feelings that Prosper had for Bo were similar to the feelings that I had for my little brother Torin, and how if we were put in that situation, maybe we wouldn't flee to Venice because that's expensive and far away, but we would definitely try our best to stay together and even now that we're growing older and I'm an adult and Torin is in high school, being close to one another and you know helping each other out and keeping a close relationship is something that's still important to us and so I could really relate to Prosper in this story. I loved Quirky Ratio, I don't know how to pronounce his name, as the like comedic relief character. He had so many funny little tidbits here and there and how he interacted with people that he didn't know when he was trying to get things from them or steal from them or anything like that. It was just really entertaining to see that unfold and just he was awesome. I loved him. Another character that I really really loved was the detective character Victor. He is so morally upstanding and I just loved how he had everyone's best interest in mind when he was going about doing his sleuthing. He wants the best for his clients, which end up being Prosper and Bo's aunt trying to track them down. And for the children though as well, he wants them to be safe and he wants them to get what they want. And obviously he wants what he wants and he wants his tortoises to be fed and happy as well. That's another pro because I love tortoises. <laughs> and really just all of the characters in this book, Ida and Hornet and Scipio, I, Scipio? I don't know how to pronounce that. I just really loved all of these characters. It was just an incredibly fun time. The setting was really, really cool. I have never been to Venice. I have been to Italy, but I haven't made my way to Venice yet. And it seems like it has such a rich tradition and history that I loved seeing the different stories about the magic of Venice. And I don't know how many of those are actually our stories that are told in Venice, but the setting was just so atmospheric and I loved envisioning these kids running through these different alleys and traversing through these canals and going around in these boats and that really famous square that I can't remember the name of it now, but I could picture everything really vividly in my mind and I just loved the setting and how it played a role really in this story. And my last part that I'm going to talk about just so this video doesn't get too long is that I really loved the dynamic between adults and children. You really explore a child's perspective of the world and what they think living means and what they want out of life and you also see the flip side. You see Victor and Ida and you see Prosper and Bo's aunt and uncle and what they value and it contrast the two, but then it also blurs the lines between adults and children. At what point do children become adults? And if the difference between them is actually that large. Some adults really keep their imagination alive and love stories. And I mean, obviously me, I read fantasy books all the time, while other people have been little old men even since they've been kids. So it's just a really cool adult child dynamic throughout the whole book. And I liked it. Onto my cons. My first one isn't really a personal con because this 
didn't affect my reading experience, but from other reviews that I've seen, it seems like you would have to experience this story as a child to really appreciate it as much. A lot of reviewers that I've seen don't connect with this story and don't love this story quite as much, experiencing it as an adult. So I definitely recommend this book more towards a younger audience, more towards the child middle grade area of readers. But if you're one of those people that has a strong sense of whimsy and loves fairy tales and is a kid at heart, I think that you'll still really enjoy this novel. And the only con that a little bit affected my reading experience was that the ending is just very, I guess, fairy tale esque It's just a little bit too perfect and everyone gets, I guess, technically what they deserve. But as a child, I absolutely loved this ending. So it was a bit of a pro and a con for me through this experience. Overall, I really, really enjoyed The Thief Lord. I ended up giving it four stars. I definitely, as I said, recommend it for a little bit of a younger audience. But if you are someone that loves fairy tale-esque stories and whimsical magic within their stories, I think that you'll really enjoy this as well. So that's going to be my review on The Thief Lord by Cornelia Funke. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've read The Thief Lord, have you seen the movie, how did you like either one or both. I know some people have really recommended that I read Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funke next, and I do own a physical copy of that. I've had that since I was a child, so I will definitely be trying to read that one soon. But if you have any other recommendations that are similar to this one, or if you would really recommend the Inkheart trilogy by Cornelia, then leave that down in the comments and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.